just ask people, when you see the walking wounded and how are you in this way to these people alive or um, yeah, we're pretty good. Guys from the hall um, should be available. Nick Reynolds is probably a week away. Okay, so just be leaving it for guys. No, you know, he's trained last week. Uh, this week and he's yeah. running the team, so he's going to get for selection. Just considering what he missed in It's a bonus, you know, it's going to be a great option for guys to have a run of games um, on the back of a uh, great form that he showed last year as well. And he's a key player to us, as you say, at this moment in time. So. Uh, to not have him available cause us a sort of a short term problem, but it allowed other people to be looked at in that position. So we know we've got cover there should we need to. Um, but to have guards back is a big bonus for us. Great front row, uh, Emma, of course, uh, when the first man of the match plans to keep the front row the same? Uh, pretty much, yeah. You know, uh, it's, a, it's a strength of our team at the moment. Um, it's probably not something we're, we're known for in terms of our, our set piece, but I think um, it's a very formidable front row. Uh, we're lucky to have Emir, who is, I suppose, our third choice hooker, but he's certainly not a third choice hooker. Um, and uh, he's really pushing his claim in fairness to him. So, uh, him and, and um, Yestin and Reese were superb, I thought, on the weekend. And uh, they can they can be a big factor in this next six, six weeks for us. Probably this time in your corner, at least one side, you probably wouldn't want to play next in terms of World Cups, but I think they lack of representation. Make the trip to well, we always tend to play them uh, when there's international, so uh, <laughs> yeah. we're used to that. But I think, um, no, it, it's fine, we're, we're fine. And yeah. um, you know, the one thing that I've said all along, I've said it to the boys, we don't no, no need to make excuses. You know, this is a team that should be good enough to, to yeah. go there and get a result if they play well enough. And um, yeah. uh, 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 I think that's how to play at home. Uh, we need to match them physically and bring an intensity that matches theirs at least. And if we can do that, you know, we, we should do well. But you know, that's easier said than done. But then, I mean, the sports come as well brings its own different challenges when you play less. So for a young side with a lack of experience as well. Yeah, but sometimes that helps. You know, right. I think yeah. um, sometimes the bad more environment maybe has yeah. a negativity on more experienced players who've played in bigger pitches and are used to bigger yeah. crowds. But with a lot of younger players, you know, they've got a lot of energy and they don't mind where they play. The other positive is that we play in the day, so we get to see what the place looks like. Eventually. <laughs> There's uh, a lot of new boys out there as well in the backs, especially. Are they all gelling together fairly well? I'm, I'm reasonably comfortable with the way it's going. You know, um, we realise at this period uh, there'd be a lot of combinations that we have to, uh, to try. Uh, a lot of new players coming into the setup. Um, it didn't help last weekend that there was uh, pretty atrocious conditions out there, but ultimately we managed the condition very well. And I was pleased about that. And I say one of the themes this season has been about being able to adapt. And we did that in the game, and we finished by far the strongest side. And we're going to have to do the same again. You know, it's going to be very tough out in Connacht. It's going to be um, a gale force wind. I can guarantee you that, um, based on my last four or five uh, visits there. And we're going to have to adapt differently in both halves. Any big changes? Not really. You know, I think we're pretty conservative at the moment in terms of our selection. But there will be opportunities over the next two to three weeks for other players who have played in our premiership size. And I was very pleased with the way they all went there. Um, you know, they all stood up, there's been good feedback, we've looked at the videos of their performances, and that's how it should be. You know, people training with us should actually stand up when they play in premiership rugby. It was a good win last week against the Roni, uh, but did you identify any areas that need improving? Um, always identifying areas that we need to improve in, but I was more um, I was far happier with the fact that we managed the game, we dealt with the circumstances and the conditions as a team and um, we were able to come through and get the result. You know, some people said to me after the game, well, the win's a win and it'd be nice to get a bonus point. I wasn't fussed at all about that, I was more interested in this performing and a lot of the things that we worked on in the pre-season came through for us, like our physicality, like our ability to adapt and like bringing intensity for 80 minutes to a game which we were able to do when ultimately in the last quarter that paid dividends where I th thought the Italians dropped off the intensity a little bit and we continued. They're coming off the back of a good win for Manchester from the opening weekend, I suspect. Yeah, they're coming off a, a very good win for them in fairness out there, not an easy place to go. Uh, they'll be confident, of course they will, you know, and they're always confident at home because they always um, win the majority of the matches at home. Um, but we focus on the first two, two fixtures of this season as with this group of players. And I think the fixtures that we had in the pre-season were all about preparing us for these two fixtures. So we're ready for it, we've got no excuses. We've got to go there, match them physically. We can do that, and we've got a chance. Have you not been too harsh on the players in terms of the accuracy of the pattern, just because of the conditions 
last year he was had to get a fair judgment. I, I, I haven't been harsh at all on the players. I mean, there's games that we win this year uh, far more comfortably where I'd probably be harsher. I was just delighted that as a group of players they came together. And as I said, I was more concerned about other factors than some of the accuracy issues. We can work on them and they'll get better. And as we move and change things around, you know, that will improve with us. What was important is, I suppose, those, those attributes in terms of intensity, 44, 80 minutes. We'd know tomorrow. Right. We're chasing it hard. It's just it's obviously there's been something else going on in New Zealand at the moment. Yeah. But it, that's frustrating in terms of these over here. It's really frustrating. It's really frustrating. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, we haven't brought him over to, 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 to not play. He's yeah. come over to bring his experience and he's got the wealth yeah. of that. Um, how is he frustrated by the whole process at the moment? You know, it's like when we chase it constantly, yeah. daily, you know, even before I came in here, you know, I had a check up on it. Youngsters in your squad today, are they looking at the examples of the seven players that are out there and thinking, I want that, you know, and you, you in turn telling them that they can get that, they just need to play well for the region? Yeah, I'd like to think so. I, I think the key thing is as well that they're going to rub shoulders with these players. They're going to know exactly what the levels are that they need to get to. Um, and when, once you've done that, you know, you realise in the majority of the cases that there's not that much difference really. It's just a little bit of self-belief and confidence. Um, and that's what normally makes a difference between an international player and a, a regional player. Um, and that'll be great, you know, the whole thing, the whole experience of these players going away, experiencing the World Cup, doing whatever they do there, then coming back and, and, and being better players for it, but also then to rub shoulders with the guys we've had here will be will just benefit the whole of our squad. What have you been known of um, results in the Ravel Dread tournament? I think a lot of rusty teams up there, you know, a lot of teams with different combinations, new, new look teams, so it's very difficult to look too much into it. I think over the first three or four weeks, things will start to settle down a little bit. Um, uh, so it's, it's very difficult at this stage to, to, to look too much into those results. Is patience going to be a key though? You know, you're, 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 you're more of the fans, perhaps, you get. Because obviously there's a lot of new faces and a lot of new combinations. Well, what I told the players quite clearly is that they don't need to worry about anything apart from what the coaches think and um, quite frankly that's what I wanted, it was a win, it was a good win and I was more than happy and I think, as I've said a few times, if we can bring a level of intensity for 80 minutes, we have a good set piece and we adapt to what happens on the field, we'll do well.